Okay, so here we are looking at my SD card raw directory, which I created, and I moved the JPG files and the uh, RW2 files into this directory and then ran raw to DNG on it to make the DNGs. So um, if you open a, if you want to, you can open a DNG directly from here by just tapping on it. Um, you can see a little bit of the thumbnail in ES File Explorer. So, for example, I'll do that there with opening the, uh, the 194. So let's open that. And it does the develop process, and you can see that it actually runs through the develop, and you can see the exposure there, and you get the histogram pop up at the end. So then I can pick something like pull the highlights down and then start to reduce the out of the highlights now you can see here the highlight point has stopped reducing and uh, and has essentially just moved over to one side there so it's actually a little bit to the right uh, sorry to the left of the, uh, the the marker there so moving it any further than minus 63 in this case uh, is not going to reduce blowouts it's just going to reduce what they look like so you click on tick there and you've got a result which immediately uh, gets developed and you've got your data there and then you can play with for example you know, HDR scape and reduce your, your filter strength down a little bit so it's not too whacked out uh, bring your brightness up so it starts to look more like a photograph reduce the saturation to you know not have everything look like your eyes are bleeding and you've got a much much better image there than you did if you were to um, have just only JPEG. So yes, let's continue. Let's exit here, and let's open the the JPEG. And you can see that um, the the JPEG doesn't have anywhere near uh, the levels that you can deal with um, with the raw file. A uh, lot of lot of shadow scrunching, so you're going to get some posterization there, which might save you with a bit of noise. Anyway, nonetheless, if we go back out to the gallery application. Uh, in my photos, I've got my raw file, and um, if I go into my raw files, I can see my raw file folder, and that's only displaying the JPEGs. And so if I tap on that same one, then it's displaying the JPEG. I have to look around, see if there's anything that I want to do with that. If I you know, wanted to just confirm that it was in focus or something, then I can click down on the share down here. One of my choices is Snapseed, so I can take it to Snapseed. And um, then it does the develop process. So if it's not doing that develop process, then you know that it's it's not actually doing the right thing. You see the little raw indicator down there as well. So that's that's pretty much the uh, the hint. If we go back to um, ES File Explorer and have a gander there, if we open up one of the JPEGs, let's open up the same one that we're looking at there. Um, in in that we've got the choice of sending that to Snapseed as well. So here we're deliberately sending only the, the uh, JPEG there straight away because we, we actually had that opened. So for this all to work smoothly, you pretty much have to follow the procedures of moving your, J, your JPEG and your raw... Oh God. Moving your JPEG and your raw file over here from your SD card on your camera and then making that uh, DNG using the raw, the raw to DNG converter and then Snapseed will work on it all.